Yesterday I was with my sister when she started to scream. That was the situation. No! What happened? I was playing Fortnite when my computer crashed. I hate cosmic radiation. Mom, if you don't fix your electronic devices, even if we have layers that protect them, imagine how dangerous it is for the electronic systems that are on spacecrafts or satellites that are protect our own. But before I answer you that question, we have to know why is cosmic radiation, how it is composed, or where are they from? Well, cosmic rays are ionizing radiation. It means that they have an electric charge. In this case, it's positive, because they have in a strip of their electrons. Also, cosmic rays are high energy particles that move through the space at nearly the speed of light. It's amazing, isn't it? Well, this is the value of their energy. Wait, what? Okay, I will explain you. Imagine the famous tennis player, Roger Federer, hitting a ball that energy is like 50 joules. This value is equivalent to a proton, and we know that cosmic rays are 90% of protons, so you can imagine how high is their energy. Did you understand? I understand, but how it affects electronic systems in the spacecraft? Well, it can cause interference in the spacecraft's cameras or maybe affect solar panels. But how? Okay. As I was saying, cosmic rays are ionizing radiation, which means that these rays can strip electrons out of molecules because it can cause too much energy to break atomic bonds. Okay, I got it, but I still don't understand how it can damage electronic devices in spacecrafts. Well, cosmic rays can make a whole electron which is lack of an electron at a position where one could exist, in an atom or atomic lattice, but this is created by the excitation of an electron. In other words, it's when an electron receives energy. Now that we know what is a whole electron, we have to know that this is an effect that is called the single event effect. This event can cause a memory bit switch, like in the video that I'm showing. To be honest, it seems very irrelevant, but this problem can cause that an electronic system in a spacecraft does not work correctly, and in other cases it can be very dangerous, but it depends on how much radiation the electronic system will receive. For example, there are the extragalactic cosmic rays that are more dangerous than the cosmic rays that are from the sun or from our own galaxy, but it is not bad at all, because nowadays scientists are improving materials that can resist to cosmic rays. Well, thanks for watching.